TIAA is on a mission. Why? Because 54% of Black Americans don't have enough savings to retire. So in collaboration with big name artists like Wyclef Jean, TIAA released Paper Right, new music inspiring a new financial future. With 100% of streaming sales going to a nonprofit that teaches students how to invest. Stream Paper Right now and help close the gap. This is Optimal Work Daily, episode 1209, Why Your Personal Productivity Determines Your Ultimate Success, by Carl Pauline of carlpauline.com. And I'm Dan, your personal narrator and host here, and welcome to this Monday edition, and I'm going to keep this intro nice and short for you to start the week, so let's get right to our post from Carl and optimize your life. Why Your Personal Productivity Determines Your Ultimate Success by Carl Pauline of carlpauline.com My interest in personal productivity inevitably led me to learning more about what makes people successful, because if you haven't already discovered, the two work closely together. Indeed, the relationship between being productive on a personal level often leads to a person achieving far more than their peers who have no productivity or organizational system in place. Let me explain. To be successful, you need to define what success means for you. Success is an individual thing. The way I view success is likely to be very different to the way you view success. This is why I emphasize the importance of defining your own vision of what a successful life is before you move on to setting out to achieve that success. But once you have a vision of what success is, you then need a plan to achieve that success. Having a system in place to accomplish that plan requires a system of time management and productivity. So to be successful, you need to be productive. The biggest threat to your achievement of success is being caught up in daily busy work. It takes your focus away from the truly important things, and it takes you down roads that will never improve your life and will often take you far away from what you want to achieve in life. A good productivity system of task lists, goals, and plans keeps you on track. And if you do get taken down a rabbit hole of unimportant busy work, it's very easy to get back to working on those things that are important to you because you have the system in place to get you back on track. In my everyday work as a communications consultant, I meet people from all levels in a company. I work with middle managers, senior executives, and CEOs, and I find the people who frequently get stuck in the unimportant busy work are more often the middle managers. It's not that they have more work to do. Indeed, if they actually took some time out from running down roads of unimportance, they would find better and more effective ways to do their work and find they have less work to do. It seems to be more a mindset problem. Rather than asking themselves, how can I do this better? They sprint further down the road of inconsequence and complain about how busy they are. Then I see senior executives at work. These people are more often focused on outcomes and goals. They know what they want to achieve, they have a plan in place to achieve it, and they regularly measure themselves against that plan. Those middle managers who learn to plan effectively, find better ways of doing their work, and measure themselves weekly against their plan are the ones who very quickly find themselves in senior executive roles. Those middle managers who don't plan effectively, don't list out their objectives for the day or week, are the ones who get left behind in the middle management trap. To be successful, you need to know what you want. You need to have a plan in place to achieve what needs to be achieved in order to get what you want, and you need to have the discipline to say no to the things that do not help you accomplish your goals. A productivity system that reminds you of your goals and what you want will give you the tools to be able to measure your progress on a regular basis. It does not have to be an extensive digital task manager. It could simply be a notebook and pen. The tools are less important than actually having a system in place that will lead you on the right road towards achieving the success you want. A simple search on Google will show you that tremendously successful people like Sir Richard Branson and Warren Buffett have a system in place. In Sir Richard Branson's case, It's the notebook he carries with him everywhere he goes. In Warren Buffett's case, it is his simple calendar, actually a small pocket diary. They all have some kind of system that allows them to keep focused on the important things and monitor and measure their outcomes and goals. In my recent online success course, I did a lecture on learning from successful people. The simple reason for doing this is because successful people have already achieved success. They have set out a roadmap for you to follow. If you do what they did, then it is inevitable you will go some way towards achieving some level of success. You may not achieve the same levels of success, but by researching, you will find their roadmap 
and with a little modification, you will find a way that suits you and your circumstances. You will find how they structure their day, how they plan, and how they get stuff done. Recent documentaries on Warren Buffett, Brian Tracy, and Tony Robbins are a goldmine of information and life tips for us all to see and learn from. I would like to build a global communications and self-development company, and when I look around, both Brian Tracy and Tony Robbins have built similar companies. All I need to do now is research how they build their businesses and find the roadmap they followed. It won't be easy, but there clearly is a roadmap out there for me to follow, and I have begun the journey. It's fun. It's hard work, but the reward, if I achieve it, will be well worth the sacrifice and hard work. If I fail, the journey will have given me such wonderful lessons that the things I learned will empower me to further my life in other directions. To me, that's a win-win. To be successful, you need a plan. To follow that plan, you need a productivity system that will keep you on the right road and maintain your focus when everything around you is in chaos. That's why the achievement of success is directly linked to having a productivity system in place. Now all you need is to create your productivity system and begin your journey towards achieving the success you deserve. What are you waiting for? You just listened to the post titled Why Your Personal Productivity Determines Your Ultimate Success by Carl Pauline of carlpauline.com. Your business is buried in manual work, taking forever to close the books. If this is you, consider three numbers, 37,000, 25, 1. 37,000, that's the number of businesses who have upgraded to NetSuite by Oracle. 25, NetSuite turns 25 this year. That's 25 years of helping businesses do more with less, close their books in days, not weeks, and drive down costs. And one, because your business is one of a kind. So you get a customized solution for all of your KPIs in one efficient system with one source of truth. Manage risk, get reliable forecasts, and improve margins. NetSuite is giving you the power of having everything you need to grow all in one place. And you really can't put a price on the power and efficiency that comes with having all of your processes streamlined like this. This is truly an unprecedented offer. Right now, download NetSuite's popular KPI checklist designed to give you consistently excellent performance absolutely free at netsuite.com OWD. That's netsuite.com OWD to get your own KPI checklist. netsuite.com OWD. Labor strikes, climate change, your beat-up office printer. What do they all have in common? Come on, it's all about the money. Economics is everywhere and everything, fueling our lives even where we least expect it. If you're a fan of Optimal Work Daily and are curious to learn something new and exciting about economics every week, I recommend you listen to the Planet Money podcast from NPR. Planet Money is a different kind of world where the complex economy actually makes sense. Listeners can learn, laugh, and be entertained. And in addition, I find it to be really educational. Money can be tough to make sense of, and Planet Money is great at providing simple explanations for how money is really moving in ways we're usually not told about. The Planet Money team lives to tell a good story in around 30 minutes. It's econ for the rest of us. So tune in to Planet Money every week for entertaining stories and insights about how money shapes our world. Stories that can't be found anywhere else. Listen now to Planet Money from NPR, wherever you get your podcasts. And thanks to Carl, whose last name, by the way, is spelled P-U-L-L-E-I-N, and I do have his website linked in this episode's description for you. Carl is a renowned productivity and time management coach who's helped thousands of people around the world get better at managing their time and become more productive using the technology that we all carry around with us every day. And he has a podcast of his own. It's called The Working With Podcast, so you can check that out. Carl's also written three different books on productivity and time management, and he's got a couple of courses on offer as well. They're called Time and Life Mastery and Your Digital Life. His purpose is to help people learn how to manage their time so they can enjoy their lives and build a life they are truly proud of. And he's featured on Optimal Living Daily every once in a while as well, so you can check out that show for more from him. And be sure to come by carlpauline.com to show your support. You can find all of his stuff there, including the podcast, coaching, courses, webinars, books, and downloads. And again, that is carlpauline.com. 
And that's going to do it for today. I thank you so much for being here and being a subscriber, clicking that subscribe or follow button in whatever podcast app you use. That really is a big way to keep this podcast going. So we do appreciate that. So have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.